Hello, welcome back to, uh, Buster Bust Loose. <laughs> Bust. Uh, anyway, yes, I am very mature. And, uh, we got this, uh, Cowboy Wild West fucking level. Why are they throwing tomatoes? I didn't know that tomatoes were, uh, were a staple food in this, uh, time. In this, uh, I killed them, though. wonder what the stars do if it's worth it. Oh, can you actually... I forgot that you can... Wait. You can... Okay, that's not really that useful. Okay. I was about to say, can you get extra hang time if you uh, jump, like, dash in midair? I guess you just get your speed going. Okay. I'm pretty sure that dog is a, is a character you see sometimes. But, uh, yeah, I don't... Hey, Wily. Don't you got a Roadrunner to go catch? Yeah, uh, in that Shower Thoughts uh, video, there's a bunch of those. Um, there, there's one where it says, Well, if, if Wily Coyote can uh, afford all these... Um, Acme products, why doesn't he just buy dinner? <laughs> and actually, I saw an episode of The Roadrunner where, uh, sometimes Wily Coyote actually talks, and he's got, like, a super fancy voice or whatever. Somebody asked him something, I forget exactly what it was, but, uh, he explains why he's so adamant about getting The Roadrunner, and, uh, basically, it, like, he boiled it down to, um, there's, like, oh shit, oh fuck, how are you supposed to get past that part without getting hurt? I don't know. Uh, okay, we'll try that again, I suppose. But basically, he, like, pulled down one of those, um, those projector screen-looking things and, uh, showed a diagram of, uh, how each part of the Roadrunner is, um, is succulent in its own way. He just, he ended up just drooling all over himself and couldn't finish a sentence without, like, smacking his lips. Kind of like, uh, kind of like me, actually, in the sense that, like, uh, I don't know if it's, if my microphone is too sensitive or what the deal is, but I hear a lot of lip smacky sounds. Maybe that's just due to, like, low quality. Maybe there's some way to get rid of that I'm, that I'm just not aware of. It could be that the microphone is also very close to my mouth, mid-mouth, so it's picking up that, uh, that kind of shit. Okay, so we got two hits now. Let's try to not lose the first hit. Let's say fuck these stars, by the way, too. Let's just get... Oh, man. Okay. Man, I don't remember this part being so tricksy. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you play it on hard mode, the uh, the jump rope part is very fast. Okay, so we're going in the saloon now. Is this... We're in a saloon of some sort? There's a toaster in the saloon. I am very curious about that. Oh, shit. Let's get out of the way of that guy. There's two toasters. Are those not toasters? Are those... Is that some other kind of thing that I'm just not aware of because I'm stupid? Uh, yeah, I didn't live in this uh, day and age. I also didn't know that there were staircases that are, like, suspended uh, from the ceiling. It's like it's like uh, those one of those weird staircases that goes up to the attic. The fuck is up with that, by the way? Why couldn't they just have a normal staircase? Why is it that they have staircases that you, like, pull from the ceiling and then have to, like, almost fucking die to go up and down? Those those always felt very unsafe. It's too late. I, Montana Max, have gotten all the valuables. Ha ha ha. Bye, Buster Bunny. You got quite the sunburn there. What happened? Why is there? Why is the safe on the very top floor? That doesn't seem like, um... That doesn't seem like, uh, you would want all that weight to be on such a high floor. Especially with the not-as-good, uh, building quality or whatever that they had back then. Back before they had mastered, like, how to make a building structurally sound. Oh yeah, I forgot about these nets. I'm pretty sure these nets actually did serve a purpose, like, in the real world. Uh, I don't know what it is. If you get caught in one, you just have to dash, uh, before you get, uh, taken off the screen and da. Oh shit. Oh fuck, let's not, uh, boy. You're pretty slippery. It's hard to change directions. I wonder if there's just a way to just cancel your... Oh, fuck me. That is not... That is not what I meant to do. I was just testing to see if there's a way to just cancel your dash. Okay. So you can see the little heads peeking out. So, yeah. So, if I'm in some kind of situation, I was just trying to uh, see if I could uh, cancel my dash. Yeah, I forgot about that part. Oh, fuck. Let's not get... Let's see. I don't, I don't know if being on the, the lower lip or on the... That, if that little, that little lip, oh, fucking damn it. I didn't know if, like, being on the edge of that little lip would, uh, holy shit, we have continues. Okay, okay, I'll quit fucking around. I wasn't trying to fuck around. Not that second time, anyway. I don't know why. Like, I could have swore I hit the button. It just, I mean, I guess I didn't. I, I don't know. The controls in this game are pretty, like, spot on in the sense that, like, like, I, it, I, I really want to believe that I was hitting the button, but if I wasn't, I'm not just going to say it was the game's fault. This game does have pretty good controls. Okay, let's try it again. 
These are very, very large mice, by the way. This isn't supposed to be like... Oh shit, I gotta be in the thing. Are, they, are these... This isn't supposed to be... Are these characters from the show that it were in maybe in like one episode that I just didn't see? Okay, I don't know why I can't just walk to the right. Why do I have... Why I have to jump... Uh, do the jump rope thingy before the screen will scroll. Okay, let's just get past this part. Alright. So am I... It, Am I in a saloon or am I in a bar? Or never mind. I meant to say I meant uh, I meant to say in an inn because I thought the letter said I N N. Or it said I N. I'm assuming there was a second inn. and there's a bed there too. Is that a bed or is that a trowel of some sort? Uh, not entirely sure. Oh, so the lower levels are maybe the bar, and then the upper levels were an inn with a safe uh, in the attic. Great job. Okay. Let's try this shit again. Golly, I can't believe I fucked that up. I used to be able to just cruise through this game. I used to just be able to- I used to just beat this game in like one sitting, just for fun. But then again, like I said, I haven't played this game in probably over 20 years, so... I played it probably around age like, like, maybe like 11, 12, 13, somewhere around that area. Okay, whoa, stop, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly, I didn't- I was pushing the button, it wasn't doing it. That time I'm sure I was pushing the button. My dash was like out of control, man. I was I was a dashing maniac. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Let's let's be careful. Let's actually let's stay let's I guess if you hang too far back, then you don't have time to get out. Let's just avoid the fucking jams in the first place. So we got those two. Three. I think there's one more, right? Four. There you go. Wow. Very not fucking difficult, Thomas. Jeez. Okay, let's just Okay. Oh, fuck you. What is this, Toe Jam and Earl? Why are you throwing your maters at me? Okay, so all we gotta do is jump when we gotta jump. Yeah, okay. I was almost too close to the front, so actually losing that little bit of time uh, was actually helpful. Uh, why did that kill me? What does the golden one do? And I, di I didn't stop dashing, so why did it uh, count as a death? I don't know. Okay, well, let's try this again. Well, we're gonna find out what happens when we get uh, 100 stars, maybe. Okay, jump. Jump. Oh shit! I almost got caught by that one. Okay. You know what? Let's just. Yeah, I didn't want to get pinched on the edge of the screen uh, by just waiting. I didn't know exactly when that was gonna show up, or you know, when that fourth net was gonna appear. Hey, that wasn't one man. I'm. I, there's a good chance I'm gonna need it. Okay, so this part actually isn't difficult. You, yeah, you don't want to be too far in front. Oh, damn it, I, I'm like hitting a thing, like I'm losing my momentum like when I land. Yeah, I don't know what's making that happen. You know what, let's fucking save state. <laughs> Just so I don't have to go back and do that first part again. I already played it twice, it's fine. It's funny, I was actually watching my, um, my Super Adventure Island LP. And uh, that was that was semi early on. I mean, I'm still it's still early on. It's relative, but uh, it was so early on that I'm sitting there going like, "How am I gonna do save states?" Oh man, I don't like doing save states. But it's like, when you're doing when you're doing a let's play, you don't really have. I mean, you really don't have like the luxury of being like, "Let's play this 50 billion times." Like we gotta you gotta keep this you gotta keep the show going. You gotta keep the ball rolling on the progress, on the progress express, so to speak. I mean, I don't mind playing a level a couple of times, but there, there comes a point where it's like... Maybe I'm not supposed to jump right there. Okay, I didn't jump and I lived, so... I have no idea. Also, I think the gold uh, dodo makes you invincible, because I started uh, blinking. I don't think I got any use out of it, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to make uh, some more jump dashes. Oh, that's pretty... that's kind of a cool effect. That's also I like that animation of the uh, of the bridge collapsing. I also didn't understand why the bridge can collapse, but um, but the the part was completely off the the screen, but it was still um, it was still being elevated. Like shouldn't shouldn't that have tilted down by now? I didn't know. Yeah, I always like that uh, that bridge breaking uh, animation. Okay. So basically, just running out of running out of dash is is what I've been doing to stop this last couple of times, and that uh, that's safer than like ducking because when you duck, you just slide, and then that doesn't actually stop you. Okay. 
Oh, snap. Okay, we got, uh, we're gonna have a situation going on in here. I, I don't remember what enemies are in here. Oh, yeah, the fucking, the fucking, um, the guys from, oh, man, uh, Bonanza Brothers. Kind of reminds me of those guys. That game is fucking very difficult, by the way. Uh, not, uh, not all. Has a Yale shirt on? I highly doubt you graduated from Yale. You probably just robbed somebody and stole their shirt. Okay. So we're in. Okay, so if, if, so we were in a tunnel and the lights were flickering. What would make the lights stop? Like just stay on suddenly? Who the hell is this guy? Oh yeah, I forgot. He's got his little extendy wand. But that's all he does, I think. You got some other trick uh, that you do when I hit you a bunch of times, or do you just die? Nope, just dead. Explode into stars. Okay. Actually, that reminds me. Uh, oh shit, forgot about this part. Speaking of stars. Uh, at, one of, at one of the jobs that I did at Mercury. Oh yeah, I work at Mercury, by the way. Son of a bitch, I thought I hit the jump button. I don't know why I didn't jump. Um, oh, fucking A. I guess, you know what, story will have to wait. I might not even remember. Uh, but yeah, I'll just save state. I'll get back to that point uh, off camera, and we'll pick it up from there. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, we didn't beat a level this episode, but that's how it goes. Um, I mean, I guess I could have tried one more time, but... You know what, should I try one more time? I'm gonna try one more time. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted to finish what I was saying anyway, because I probably won't remember. Uh, but there was a part where I had to put put like a wire assembly in. It sounds it sounds harder than it is. A lot of things like when you're when you're building, I, I mean, I don't know if it's, I've, it's the only assembly job I've worked, but like a lot of times, like when you say the word like install or something, like it's, it's a lot, fancier sounding than what it what the thing is that you're physically doing that was a stupid hit to take but basically i had to take i had to take like two two like wires and then it had like a one of one of them had a green thing on it just to like indicate which side of the motor to put it on and one of them was white and one of them was the port side and one was the starboard side but then you were always flipping this thing around and it's just a transom so I actually don't know. I never learned which end was like the top or the bottom or the front or the back. But yet the instructions would just say to like, oh, put this one on the, the port side. It's like, yeah, but you have to spin it around a bunch and uh, do different things on different sides of it. So I never could keep track of like which side was which side versus which step we're on, you know. So basically, uh, the guy was like, show me how to do it. And I was just like, I can't remember. Does, is it the green one or the white one goes on this side or whatever? And he goes... Uh, the way you're supposed to remember port and starboard, you know, the way for dummies, is that, uh, uh, what was it, port is always the left side, because port has the same number of letters as left. Okay, so you have that, and then he goes, uh, the, oh, what, oh shit, how did he say it? He goes, the white one is the starboard, because you have to be white to be a star, <laughs> and that's the way he, um, told me to remember it, and, uh, and yeah, I remembered it, actually. And, uh, yeah, I'm sitting here going like, boy, you, you really put a lot of thought into this, it seems. Like, he, he must have, I'm pretty sure he had that thought up prior to that. Why didn't he fucking attack, man? Come on, dude. I hit the button. Son of an ass. Okay, well, fucking story, story's over. The end. It, it sounded racist, was the point. Um, but yeah, I'll get back to that uh, point off camera, and... I mean, I guess I wanted to beat a level per video, but it didn't happen, even when I gave it one last try, but oh well. But yeah, we'll pick it up next time, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.